Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our ninth lesson on a given form 2 mathematics topic called equations of a straight line. So we are looking at our seventh example, which is a past cases equation tested in 205, paper 1, question number 11. It reads that on the diagram below, the line whose equation is 7y minus 3x, then plus 30 is equals to 0, passes through the points A and B. Then we are told that point A is on the x-axis, whereas point B is equidistant from the x and the y axis. So we are required to calculate the coordinates of the points A and B. So uh, we are given the equation of this particular line. We are told that the equation is uh, 7y uh, then minus uh, 3x then of course plus 30 uh, is equals to 0. Then you are further told that uh, the point A is actually on the x-axis. So this particular point is on the x-axis. It simply means that uh, this is what we call uh, the x-intercept. That is a point where the line cuts the uh, x-axis. So we know that at the x-intercept, uh, the coordinate of y must be equal to 0. Therefore, we'll say that at point A, at point A, which is actually what we are calling the x-intercept uh, uh, at the point A, which is the x-intercept, uh, the coordinate of y for this particular equation must be equal to 0. So because this particular line is passing through point A, therefore it means that uh, through this particular point A, this point A must satisfy uh, this particular equation. Therefore, you are given the equation which is uh, 7 uh, y, then of course minus uh, 3x, then of course plus 30 uh, is equals to 0. Therefore, at point A, we are going to substitute uh, y being equal to 0. So this equation will be uh, 7 into uh, 0, then of course minus uh, 3 uh, into uh, x, then of course plus 30. Uh, this one must be equal to 0. So this will be 0, then of course minus uh, 3x uh, plus 30. Uh, this one is equal to 0. Therefore, I'm going to take uh, negative 3 uh, x towards the right hand side so that it becomes a positive. So if I do that, uh, this is what I'm going to end up uh, with. So I'm going to get um, a 30 uh, being equal to a positive 3x. If I divide through uh, by 3, I also divide through uh, by 3. Therefore, 3 and 3 will cancel out. It means that the value of x uh, will actually be equal to uh, 3 here, 1. Of course, 3 into 30, that is uh, 10 times. Therefore, the coordinate of x at point A is actually equal to 10. Now, because the coordinate of y at point A is 0, uh, we were told to state the coordinates of the point A and B. It means that the coordinate for point A we are going to take the x coordinate, then of course, comma the y coordinate. Therefore, at the point A will be given by the x coordinate is positive 10. Then of course, we know that the y coordinate along the x axis is always equal to uh, 0. Therefore, those are the coordinates of point A. Then now uh, we'll focus on uh, now the coordinates for point B. Now for point B, we are told that uh, point B is equidistant from the x and the y axis. Equidistant, uh, this one simply means uh, equal distance. This one means equal uh, distance. That is the meaning of the word uh, equidistant. So it means that the distance of the point B from the uh, x axis is equal to the distance of point B uh, from the y axis. Therefore, this particular distance is equal to at uh, this distance then of course we know that for this particular case suppose this point was to be one then of course this other point the corresponding point here will be a uh, negative one therefore uh, it means that for the point b if i let this particular coordinate to be k then uh, this one must be the negative of a uh, k so if i let point b to have the coordinates of uh, the x coordinate to be k then the y coordinate must be equal to the negative of k. Therefore, uh, for any two 
are points which are equidistant from the x and the y uh, axes if one coordinate is positive that is on the positive side of the x axis then the other coordinate must be the negative of the initial uh, coordinate therefore if i let a uh, point b uh, to have the coordinates of uh, k then if the x coordinate is k the y coordinate must be uh, the negative of actually k therefore uh, remember that this is the x uh, coordinate whereas this is the y coordinate because this particular line that is uh, 7y uh, minus 3x plus 30 is equals to 0 uh, is passing through point b it means that at point b this particular equation should be satisfied therefore i'm going to rewrite the equation which is uh, 7y uh, minus uh, 3x then of course plus 30 uh, plus 30 this one should be equal to zero therefore we'll say that at point b at the point uh, b which is actually a uh, k then of course negative k uh, this particular equation must be uh, satisfied therefore it means that if i substitute uh, those coordinates in uh, the given equation they are supposed to satisfy uh, that particular equation since uh, the equation is passing through at the point uh, b now clearly here we can see that the value of uh, whenever the value of x is uh, a k then the corresponding value of y of course will be a negative k therefore if i substitute in this equation i'll end up with a 7 then into y so my y will be negative k that is for uh, through the point b so my y is negative k then of course minus a 3 into x uh, when y is negative k the value of x will be uh, actually a positive k then of course plus 30 uh, this one must be equal to zero so this is a uh, negative uh, 7k then of course minus 3k then of course plus 30 uh, this must be equal to zero so negative 7k minus 3k i'll get negative a uh, 10 a uh, k then of course plus 30 being equal to zero so i'll take negative 10k towards the right hand side so that it becomes a positive i'll end up with 30 uh, being equal to a positive a 10k if i divide through by 10 i also divide through by 10 i'll end up with my value of k uh, being equal to of course 0 and 0 will cancel out so my k will actually be a positive 3 therefore uh, the coordinates are for the point b so remember point b had the coordinates of k then comma negative a k it simply means that b i will have the coordinates of the value of k is 3 so this will be 3 then comma uh, the value of negative k will just be negative a uh, 3 therefore the coordinates for point b is 3 negative 3 whereas the coordinates for point a is 10 uh, 0 then uh, we check at our example number 8 which is also a past case equation tested in 2016 paper 1 question number 11 the same question was also repeated in uh, 206 paper 1 question number uh, 9 it treats that a line with gradient negative 3 passes through the points 3k and k uh, then 8 we are told to find the value of k and hence express the equation of the line uh, in the form ax plus by uh, is equals to c where a b and c are simply uh, constants or integers now we know that because we are given uh, the gradient of that particular line we know that gradient must be given by uh, y2 minus y1 divided by uh, x2 then minus x1 that is change in y over change in uh, x so we are given one of the uh, coordinates to be 3 then comma k whereas the other coordinate is k8 so the other coordinate is uh, k then comma uh, 8 so this will be uh, i'll label this as my x1 then this to be y1 then i'll let this to be uh, x2 then this will be uh, y2 therefore the gradient which i'm given as negative 3 so i'll end up with negative 3 uh, being equal to my y2 is positive 8 then of course minus uh, my y1 is actually k then divided by uh, my x2 uh, my x2 is actually k then of course minus my x1 is actually a uh, positive uh, 3 
Therefore, if I do cross multiplication, I'll make this a fraction. So uh, these will multiply with negative 3. Then, of course, 1 will multiply with that. So I'll end up with negative 3. Uh, then into bracket, uh, k. Then, of course, minus 3 uh, being equal to a 1 into bracket 8. Then, of course, minus a k. If I open bracket, I'll end up with negative 3k. Then negative 3 times negative 3. Negative negative will give me a positive uh, 9. Uh, being equal to 1 times 8, I'll get 8. Then 1 times negative k, I'll get negative k. Now, on collecting the like terms, I'll simply uh, take 8 towards the left-hand side. Then I take 3k towards the right-hand uh, side. Now, if I do that, I'm going to end up with the following. So, I'll have 9, then of course minus 8, uh, being equal to a negative k, then of course plus a 3k. Therefore, uh, this is going to simplify uh, to give me uh, the following. So, this is what I'm going to end up with. Uh, of course, 9 minus 8, I'll get a positive 1, being equal to negative k plus 3k, I'll get a positive a 2k. Then I divide through by 2. I divide through by 2. 2 and 2 will cancel out. Therefore, the value of k is equivalent to a positive a half. So I was asked to find the value of k. So k is equals to positive a half. And hence, express the equation, of, the equation of the line in the form ax plus by is equals to c. Now, we know that for us to get the equation, we need to have the gradient at one point. Therefore, I'll pick one of the points, which was uh, 3. Then, of course, comma k. So it means that this particular point will actually be 3. Then the value of k is equal to a half. Therefore, I know that to get the gradient, uh, I need to have the change in y over change in x. So I'll pick a general point that is um, x, y. Therefore, I'm going to label this one as my x1. Uh, so this is, I let this to be x1, then this to be y1, then this to be x2, then of course y2. So if I substitute uh, in the formula for the gradient, I'll end up with uh, the gradient uh, should be equal to uh, y2, then of course minus y1, which is the change in y, divided by uh, x2 minus x1, which is actually the change in uh, x. So this is going to give me uh, the following. Now, if I substitute the values, I'll end up with the gradient was actually uh, negative 3. So I'll end up with negative 3 uh, being equal to my y2, of course, will be y, then minus uh, my y1 is uh, a half, then uh, divided by my x2 is equal to x, then of course, minus uh, my x1 is actually positive 3. I'll also make this a fraction, then I do a cross multiplication so this will multiply with this then of course one will multiply with that so i'll end up with negative three uh, into bracket x minus a uh, three being equal to one into y minus a half so if i open bracket i'll end up with negative uh, three x then of course plus negative three times negative three i'll get a positive nine uh, being equal to y then of course minus a half so I'll bring this towards the left hand side. So I'll end up with negative 3x, then of course uh, plus 9, uh, then plus a half, uh, being equal to uh, y. So this is the same as saying negative 3x, then of course plus 9 plus a half, I'll just get 9 and a half, uh, which is equal to y. So this can be written as negative 3x, then of course plus uh, 2 by 9, I'll get 18. Then plus 1, I'll get 19 over 2. Uh, that is as an improper fraction, which is equal to y. Therefore, if I want to eliminate uh, the fraction, I'm simply going to multiply through uh, this particular equation with the uh, LCM. Of course, the LCM uh, in this particular case will just be uh, 2. 2 is our LCM here. So I'll multiply everything with the LCM. So I'll end up with negative uh, 3x. Uh, then... Uh, plus 19 uh, over 2 uh, being equal to y. So my LCM is uh, positive 2. So I multiply this one with the LCM, this one with the LCM, this one also with the LCM so that 2 and 2 can cancel out so that I can do away with fractions. So negative 3x times 2, I'll get negative uh, 6x uh, 
then of course plus 19 uh, being equal to uh, 2 times y, I'll get 2y. Now the question wanted me to leave my equation in the form uh, ax, then of course plus uh, by, then is equals to c, of course where c is the constant. So for me to achieve that, I'll take um, this particular uh, value towards the right hand side, so that I end up with 19 uh, being equal to uh, 2y, then of course plus uh, 6x. So this can be rearranged as uh, 2y then plus uh, 6x is equals to a positive 19. So this is 2y plus 6x is equals to 19. So in the form ax plus by uh, is equals to c, I'll start with uh, x. Of course, it's already in that. No, I'll start with x. So I'll end up with, uh, I'll start with the um, positive 6x. Then I add uh, the y which is positive 2y, then of course this one is equal to 19. Therefore, it is in the required form. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the strong button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.